Hi again, everybody. Elio Pace here. So firstly, how are you? I hope you're well. Isn't this weird? The weirdest, the weirdest you can imagine. It's surreal, it is. And I sincerely hope that you and your families are doing okay. Now, I, like you, I'm gonna warn you now, this is not gonna be a quick two and a half minute, three minute video, because I've got, I've had an idea. I've had a, what I think is a great idea. So I'm gonna put it out into the world. I have no clue whether this can be picked up, will be picked up, if anyone's interested, but I've, I've come up with an idea that might help um, some of my friends and colleagues in the music business, in the playing live business. Like you, I have been stuck to social media, to the news channels, checking for every piece of information and digesting it all. Uh, one of the most incredible things I'm seeing on social media though is, is the generosity and the wonderful, the wonderful ways in which people are helping each other. Businesses helping people, people helping people. It's, it's just beautiful stuff in stark contrast to seeing horrible stories from uh, my friends, I mean from everybody, everybody around the world. But personally, my close friends and my colleagues, people I love and admire and respect as artists, as musicians, singers, dancers, actors, all having their livelihoods completely wiped, wiped out from the diary. Nothing, nothing. You know, that is very, very tough to see. It's, it's tough. We're not the only ones, obviously. Everybody in every sector is suffering. Everybody is suffering. Everyone. But I had an idea that could help, possibly help the people in my industry. Uh, especially recording artists, because this is an idea I've had about radio. So let me just give you a quick little bit of background. Every time, let's take Radio 2 for instance, every time Radio 2 play a record, they have to log that play and they send that list of songs. Every song they play, they send that list to a collecting, two collecting societies in this country that are sort of pertinent to this discussion. PRS the Performing Rights Society, who collect money on behalf of songwriters. So for every, uh, this is approximate, okay? For every play, for every three and a half minute play, I would get around about 80 pounds. If you own the copyright in the song, if you've written the music and the lyrics, 100% copyright ownership of the music and lyrics, you will get about £80 for every play. Um, you can imagine, if you times that by the thousands of plays that the big artists get in this country, I mean, you put the radio on and you know you hear their song five times a day, that's on one station, and then you imagine that all around the country, you can imagine how, and quite rightly so, why Elton John and Billy Joel and Sting and Paul McCartney should be paid for their songs, for their music and lyrics. Quite right, I have no problem with that at all. That's absolutely fair and respect to those incredible artists. Um, Radio One, for, for some reason, the equivalent is about £40. Uh, local radio is about £12 for the same play, for the same amount of minutes. So Radio Two pay the most to us uh, songwriters. There's also another company called PPL. Now they look after two other groups of people who get royalties from radio plays. The first group are basically the record company, whoever owns that recording. Forget who wrote it, who paid for that recording. That's normally the record company, but more and more it's becoming artists like myself who have paid for every single recording they've made. Everything I've ever put out has been paid by me um, through Rosa Records, my little company. The other group of people that PPL look after are the musicians who play on those recordings. That's how it works. Right, here's my idea. 
Can you imagine if radio as a whole, the BBC, uh, nationally, locally, and all the independent stations as well, and all the, all the commercial stations, if they all decided to help out, I mean, to give back to the people that, you know, travel up and down this country who, who work hard, who want to put music out, but don't get played on radio. If they decided, I don't know, four times an hour to play a record by an independent artist who is logged and, and signed up to PRS and PPL, that £80 from Radio 2 or £40 from Radio 1 or £12 from BBC Devon or Solent or Cambridgeshire, wherever it is, Cumbria, that money would go to the independent artists, all of whom are struggling like mad right now. I'm not saying that Paul McCartney and Billy Joel and Elton John don't deserve their £80 for every play. Of course they do. But maybe, just during this period, there could be possibly a slight little shift, a little change in where you put on, you know, a radio programme, a national radio, a Radio 2, and, you, and four times that hour, the presenter, whoever it may be, goes, OK, and, you know, here it is. We're going to play a track by someone who never gets played, but that £80 is going to go to them. It would certainly come as a great help somewhere down the line. It would be amazing, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be wonderful if, if that could happen? Four times an hour to play something that you've never heard before? As long as it's obviously up to a certain standard. I, I'm not saying, you know, just go and get a microphone in, in your bathroom and record yourself, you know, playing something and expect it to be on radio. It's, obviously, they have to have standards. And, you know, we have high standards and that's the way it should be. So. And I'm not sure how this would be vetted. I'm not sure how the songs would be collected. I'm sure someone out there could come up with an incredible hashtag to, to pin it all to. If that happened, four times an hour, an independent artist, uh, you know, whose, whose, whose earnings of merchandise at their gigs count for so much, which have been completely wiped out. Uh, this is just, it's just so, it seems like a really good way this is like money that already has to go out. It already has to be paid to people. It's not extra money to be found. It's already going out. So wouldn't it be great if we just diverted it that way instead for a while, just for a time, and, and gave it to independent artists who make fantastic music that never gets played on the radio anywhere, and yet it's really cool, whether it's jazz or rock and roll, blues, funk, hip-hop, whatever it is, grunge, R&B, it doesn't matter. And also, this would also be great because you never know, it could generate another 30, 40, 50 quid if people are selling their music via their website. And, you know, when you tune in to your favorite uh, afternoon show, as well as getting all the hits that you love to hear and all the stuff that, you, that makes you feel good, we all love all that. But interspersed with all that, a little bit of new music wouldn't do anybody any harm. In fact, quite the opposite. Anyway, that's my idea. I hope that you understand from where this is coming from. This is coming from a, a sincere place of trying to think of, of a way of, a way of uh, alleviating the pressure and the strain and actually doing something that could, thinking forwards, thinking ahead, could actually be ultimately a really lovely thing. As I say, I'm putting it out there. Somebody could maybe run with it and make it better or come up with a better version of it, come up with a hashtag, who knows? But anyway, um, thank you for listening. I just wanted to get that out there. I feel like I've got it off my chest and I've said it, and I really, really hope that, uh, that it comes to fruition because I don't think it's a bad idea just to help your independent artists out there, all of whom are not earning anything, anything for the foreseeable future. Some royalties maybe could just help out at this time of need. Stay well, stay fit, and um, I will see you very, very soon. Lots of love, bye.